Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jill, otherwise known as The Enlightened Target, and this channel is devoted to narcissistic abuse awareness and recovery, parental alienation, complex post-traumatic stress disorder, and anything and everything associated with those three main topics. Today, we are gonna talk about a very common and typical part of how all narcissists operate and the tricks that they have up their sleeves to abuse their victims. Today we're talking about abuse by proxy, which basically means the narcissist abuses or harasses or spies or stalks or smears a target via other people. So the narcissist will literally enlist other people to join in and participate in harming the target. Sometimes these people are referred to as flying monkeys. And the sad reality is the narcissist can and will use whomever they can to contribute and help them to do their dirty work. No one is off limits when it comes to the narcissist accomplishing uh, what they want. So the abuse by proxy could be from your own child, uh, from a sibling, from friends, from people uh, you know at work or neighbors, you name it. If the narcissist can get someone to help them to believe the lies that they're telling about you and to actually participate in abusing and harming you, they will enlist them without so much as a second thought. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I would like to invite you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because I put out new videos every week. Also, I am now on a platform called Wizio, which is a platform for experts or specialists in certain fields to be available to their followers to ask questions and get a customized video response directly to you that addresses your um, specific questions. So if you are interested, I have my Wizio link in the description below. And as always, if you are interested in narcissistic abuse recovery coaching with me, please visit my website or send me an email. Both are linked in the description below. So today we're talking about a very common tactic that narcissists use to abuse a target called abuse by proxy. By proxy meaning via someone else. So they abuse you by proxy of someone other than themselves. Sometimes we refer to these people as uh, the narcissist flying monkeys, which by the way, the idea of calling these people uh, flying monkeys comes from the movie The Wizard of Oz where the Wicked Witch um, sent out her flying monkeys to do her dirty work. That's where the term flying monkeys came from. So why in the world would a narc want to enlist the help uh, and participation of others to help abuse and terrorize a victim or target? Today we're gonna explore why this is such a common tactic for narcissists to use against a target. So when we're trying to analyze why a narcissist would enlist and exploit another human being or entity to help them abuse, terrorize, stalk, or smear a target, we have to first talk about the core personality traits of the narcissist. Narcissists are consumed with their image. They are terrified of being exposed for who and what they are. Um, therefore, convincing family members or friends that this target of theirs is deserving of being abused or harassed makes perfect sense because that way the narcissist is able to hide behind the proxies they are exploiting to do their, to do their dirty work. And if and when the proxy is exposed or caught uh, doing the narcissist's dirty work, well, then the narcissist can claim they knew nothing about it and can maintain an image of innocence and let the flying monkey take 100% of the blame and accountability. Another reason that narcissists love to abuse their victims by proxy of someone or, or something else 
is because it makes them feel powerful and special. Abuse by proxy is just another mechanism they have to extract narcissistic supply, to validate the myth, the false belief that they are so special, so important that they have the power and the influence to actually enlist other people to do the things they themselves don't want to personally do, or at the very least, they themselves certainly uh, don't want to get caught in doing it. This is one of the main reasons narcissists will disguise their true desire to abuse and harass and harm their victim as concern to their proxies and flying monkeys. And the narcissist can come across so legitimately concerned for the target. Remember, narcissists are usually fabulous actors when the reality is they aren't concerned in the least about the target. The only thing they are truly concerned about uh, when it comes to this target is that they further terrorize, smear, and ruin the target's reputation. The concern the narcissist has for this person, if the narcissist was being honest with the proxies or flying monkeys, is that they are concerned that this person is better than they are. They are concerned because they are pathologically envious of this person, or they are concerned because this person feels threatening to the narcissist. The only true concern the narcissist feels is the concern about how to destroy this target's life, how to ruin his or her reputation in order to get whatever it is they want, or how to smother the feelings of jealousy and envy they feel when they think about or see this target. Another reason narcissists are so fond of utilizing proxies to abuse, terrorize a target is because it's an excellent vehicle to convince others that the lies the narcissist is spreading about the target are true. The more people the narcissist can enlist to participate in abusing the victim, the more that other people uh, in the community will fall in line believing the lies that are being spread about the victim. It's, it's human nature for people to believe something about someone if they continue to hear the same story from multiple other people. And no one knows this more than the narcissist. Therefore, the more proxies they have that are doing and saying the same things against this target, the more they will convince um, the community or the workplace or the family court that what they are saying about the target is fact. And of course, the more people that join in on abusing the target, the more the target's own behavior will fall in line with the lies that the narcissist has been smearing the target with. The more people the narcissist enlists to bully, harass, abuse, and terrorize a target, the more disbelief and desperation the target will feel to expose the reality of what is actually happening, not knowing that the narcissist has already taken the target's desperation into account and has incorporated that into their smear campaign. Therefore, each time the target tries to explain what is really happening here, the crazier they look to everyone else which is the goal of the narcissist. You must remember, narcissists have been doing things like this for a long, long time. They are pros. And if you are targeted by a narc and you don't understand how premeditated and calculated this endeavor is, then typically you will walk right into the traps that have been set uh, by the narcissist long before you even realize you were being targeted. Okay, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching, everyone.